It's the weekly reset, so I'm going to go over everything that's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset, but before we get into the video, if you guys enjoy this video and would like to see more Destiny 2 content as soon as it's released, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a growing community where content creators and streamers can post all of their Destiny 2 videos as well as when they go live. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. So, let's go ahead and start with the challenges. Starting with the Traveler. We need to go ahead and complete 20 bounties for Ikora, as well as get 5,000 XP for your clan, locate and open 4 chests, as well as um, forge 2 weapon frames. Coming over to Mars, we have your uh, Heroic Adventure, as well as your whoops, Flashpoint for this week. And you need to complete this by doing public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures. If you do the heroic public events, you can get this done a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions, as well as go ahead and complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Arc Singe, Blackout, as well as Grenadier. And for the Nightfall, we need to complete a Nightfall or a, and a Nightfall with 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are the Corrupted, Strange Terrain, and the Will of the Thousands. Coming down to Gambit, we need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches. And we need to get 100 progression in the Reckoning. Modifiers for the Reckoning are Arc Singe, Blackout, as well as Grenadier. Coming over to Crucible. The Crucible map this week is Lockdown, and we need to go ahead and complete five Crucible uh, matches. And we can do that in any one of these playlists except for Private Match. Coming to the Dreaming City. Petra Venge is located in the Strand, and we need to go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. So let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. What can I do for you, so, starting with the weekly offerings, we have the Mirror Mirror emote. Then we have this wonderful ornament for the Taraba. Looks pretty cool, I guess. Then we have a ship. As well as a vehicle called the Calypso. And that actually looks pretty badass. And then we have an exotic ghost. Look, it's carrying fanny packs. Yeah. And then last but not least, we have the best of year one engrams. Coming down here, we have your Fireteam Medallion, your Gleaming Moon of the Vanguard and of the Crucible, the Guardian White Transmat Effect. And then we have the ornament for the Drain. I guess it's... yeah. And then we have this wonderful Techno Scarab ornament for the Kepri's Horn. For the Titan. That actually looks pretty cool. I don't have this, so I might even get it. And last but not least, we have this wonderful thermal runaway vehicle. I don't understand why they make vehicles that have these cool names, but they're so slow. Like there's one called the Pacekeeper, or whatever it is, and it's... 150 speed. We got the runaway. He ain't going very far because he's 150 speed. I just don't get it. I don't get their their logic in this. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and skip the seasonal offerings as well as skip the archive and come straight down to the items for the week. We have the you go ahead emote. I swear, I feel like this is like 
D spikes his signature emote every time he dies. Next, we have the uh, Kit Bash shell. I think this one looks pretty cool. That's just me, though. Then we have the Intrepid Discovery Gauntlets for the Hunter. This comes with a momentum transfer, impact induction, uh, sniper rifle scavenger, as well as special ammo finder. Then we have the Ronin, which is the ornament for the Izanagi's Burden. I actually have it. It looks pretty cool. Like a little hammer at the end. Then we have the uh, Dirty Work ornament for the Dreaded Adventure. That's okay. And then we have the Bray Legacy for the Polaris Lance. I think that this is probably one of the most ugliest ornaments in this game. Like, like seriously, look at this thing. Polaris Lance without this ornament just looks so much better and so much cooler. Why, Bungie? Why? And then last but not least, we have your uh, tech, uh, <laughs> your tech machina uh, projection. Which doesn't show anything on my ghost because I have the solar ghost on. It's okay. It's just a ghost projection. It's really nothing big. Then we have your fire team medallion, your gleam of the vanguard, and of the crucible. And then we have your amethyst veil shader. That looks pretty badass. I definitely will have to say. Then we have your eldritch effects transmat effect. We have the Precursor Vex Chrome. Still a cool shader. However, it's too much white. And you kind of stand out in PvP. And then we have your Signal Processed Transmat Effect. It's pretty cool. Let's see that again. And then we have your Wonderful Bounties. So, as you guys can see behind me, Iron Banner is gone for the week. And there is one more Iron Banner event before Shadow Keep actually uh, goes live. So, I will definitely let you guys know when the next Iron Banner event is to come. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon. And I will see you guys in the next video.